All right, Eddie's Mega here, and welcome to another Alta Redshift SM39 video. All right, uh, so in this video, I will be going and drilling my uh, front caliper bolts, all right, front, front caliper mounting bolts, so we can safety wire. Okay, so um, one of the things that you got to do when you go to track day is uh, you have to like safe, safety wire stuff, right? Like drain plugs and. So they don't come off, all right. If you safety wire it, you're, you're, it's guaranteed that it's not gonna vibrate or rattle off, all right. The chances of it happening probably not likely, but hey, you never know, all right. That's why they, you know, that's why they make you do it. So there's a couple things you can do um, to, to help secure it. Is uh, one way is to use like a RTV or like some kind of glue on the on the bolt to keep it from spinning all right and it's it's kind of annoying because you have to keep on peeling it off and then put it back on um so one of the things about the redshift sm that i just found out all right and it's pretty common for supermotos is that you have to remove the brake caliper to remove the wheel okay because it's just, it's freaking ginormous and it gets in the way of taking the wheel off so um you're gonna have to remove the caliper so every time you're gonna have to goop it up all right so an alternative way to do it is to safety wire it, all right? And to do that, you have to drill a hole through the bolt, all right? You either have to drill a hole through the bolt or get another bolt that already has the holes in it, all right? They do sell those, but um, I'm gonna do the, the poor man thing and we're gonna drill a hole through the bolt, all right? And I've, I've actually never done this before, so yeah. Um, I did I did watch a YouTube video, Stefan Papadakis' uh, uh, video on safety wiring uh, bolts and stuff. And so that's where I'm getting this from, all right? I do know how to safety wire stuff, but you know, I, it's not something I, I do very often, all right? Um, stuff like uh, drain plugs or fill plugs, you know, um, it's very handy to have uh, safety wire and uh, the safety wire pliers, okay? So, um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so here's the area we're working with, guys. So we've got these lovely Brembo radial calipers, and so so as you can see, I've got the RTV on there right now. I'm trying to trying to get it off there, man. Maybe when we take the bolts off, it'll come out more easily. This will definitely keep your bolts from backing out, <laughs> but it's yeah, it's a mess, dude. You're gonna have to like goop it up every time, and that's one of the things they'll be checking on your bike for tack inspection. All right, so they don't want that to come out. There's a, there's a reason why they do that, guys, and uh, and it's because it's you know somebody's caliper has fallen off on the racetrack, and that's that could be you know deadly. Okay, um, so what you're gonna want to do first is uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill it. I'm gonna show you guys how to safety wire it um, later when we get it done. But we're gonna drill it from 12 o'clock. All right, I think I feel that's the best position to get it in. Oh yeah, I know, man. There's not a lot of space, so it's gonna form an S shape when you safety wire it. All right, guys. Um, that way, when it loosens, it's actually tightening tightening the other one. All right. Um, yeah, and when you want when it loosens, you don't want it to keep on loosening. All right. That's why you have to. There's a certain way to safety wire it. All right. Um, or you can just tie them together. There's that's there's different ways to do it, but I'm gonna show you the proper way to do, to do it. Okay. Um, all right, so the first thing to do is make sure these are torqued properly. Um, so they're in the position that you want them to be. I feel, I feel like, yeah, we should probably just drill it like right around here. All right, we're gonna drill it straight through. The, the good thing about these Allen bolts is they're very, they're very good to drill, all right? That's what I wanna say, so. Um, how deep is it? Yeah, I think, I see this part that's like kind of knurled. I believe that's the part that's like open. So if you drill this part, the solid part, that's the solid part, all right. And and it's gonna it's gonna go through the bolt. So I, I it'll be easier if you drill the part that that's hollow. Okay. So we're gonna probably just just on the left side a little bit like that. Okay. And I think oh, this is kind of a pain because this is, this is so close to that man. Yeah, how are you gonna get the safety wire through that? <laughs> I guess we'll find out, guys. All right. Anyway, let's make sure this is properly torqued. That way, every time you torque it, it the hole will be in the same place. Hopefully, 
hopefully the hole will be in the same place. Okay, so from my notes here, it's 32 newton meters or 24 foot pounds. All right, we're gonna go to do 24 foot pounds because for the bigger stuff, I like using foot pounds. All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen it first. It looks like it's an eight millimeter. Okay, so I'm gonna loosen it and then tighten it again. Okay, it's loose. The RTV just broke free. Okay. Clean up. Clean up that goop later. Okay, and then now we're gonna tighten it again. So from the factory, they put these marks on the bolt, so. Okay, now we're gonna tighten it with a torque wrench. Okay, so we're gonna tighten it to 24 foot-pounds. All right, I know it's upside down, but 24. Okay. Do each a little bit at a time. I don't think it really matters, but. Okay, all right, so that should be good. Uh, so as you can see, the lines are roughly where they were before. So it was properly torqued, all right? And our torque wrench looks like it's properly calibrated. That's a good thing. <laughs> okay, um, so now uh, we're gonna figure out where I wanna drill it. I think I think I wanna drill it like right here. Maybe, maybe like at ele the 11.30 position. All right, same thing with the other one. That way it'll be easier to get them in. Okay, so I'm gonna mark where I'm gonna drill it. Okay, so I'm gonna go mark where I'm gonna drill it. Mm, yeah, close to 12 o'clock is where we wanted to thing it. So probably right here. Okay, and then right here. Okay. And we're just going to drill straight through it, all right? I mean, I guess you could drill multiple holes if you want, man, but that's up to you. <laughs> it's kind of nice to have multiple holes because you can stick it through different places. But All right, and then we're going to use uh, 564. Um, the, uh, the drill bit, I, I Googled it, all right? And Google tells me uh, 116 one, one or 564, all right? This one is a 564. I can find my 116th drill bit, so... I think this will be fine. All right, this is a big, is a pretty big bolt, so you can drill the hole pretty big. Okay. All right, now you're gonna go want to take that bolt out. Oh, you know what? You probably want to mark what side is the 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 top one and the bottom one. Um, I would mark. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> what if we put? What if we install it wrong? Uh, like, what if we install a different one, like, like the top one on the? So you're gonna want to label it somehow. I'm gonna put on the 12 o'clock. Yeah, on the 12 o'clock, I'm gonna put a mark here. All right, and then on the six o'clock, I'm gonna put a mark here. All right. So that way, I know when we install it this side has to be facing up all right and that side has to be facing down that way we know which one i, mean, I guess it doesn't really matter man but um if they're the same size you know but but just to, just to be sure you know when we put it back i put it back the way we found it all right all right and then we're gonna go take it out there's one okay there's two Make sure you don't lose the spacers here. There's these these spacers here. I guess I don't I don't think it matters. Let me see. Yeah, they're the same. So make sure you put these back. All right, and then take the caliper off. Uh, you can leave the caliper on for now. Just just let it sit on the on the brake rotor like that. Now, Hayes Mega's taking the wheel off. That's why I wanted to do this now. So so it'll be ready for the track. All right, and so here we have our two bolts. Fantastic. Um, one thing you could do. If you want to do is uh, measure the bolts, all right, how long they are, and how, uh, and then how wide they are. So, uh, and, and if you if you can find an aftermarket bolt that has the holes drilled into it already, maybe you could find a fancy titanium one. You know, um, you'll know. But so, just for reference, this is a, it's a, no, this is a M10. All right, it's a 9.86 millimeters. 
So I think that's an M10. Okay, and how long is it? I think you measure it like this, right? Okay, it's uh, like 60 millimeters. Okay, so it's a M10 by 60 millimeters. The thread pitch, I think that's a, a 1.25 thread pitch. Don't don't quote me on that. <laughs> okay, so there you go. So if uh, if you want to buy one that's already has the holes in it, then you have the measurements right there. And like I said, you can probably buy a fancy like titanium one, save some weight, you know, <laughs> if you want to. Okay, so let's go ahead and drill these. Okay. He's got the old drill press set up here. All right, I've got the drill press and the vise. If you don't, um, you could probably just use a vise. You could probably just use a vise like this and then just drill it with a, with a hand drill, okay? Just a regular drill. But we're going to use the drill press, okay? So I've got it in the vise right now, all right? And I've got the, uh, the mark, all right? You see the mark right there? I've got it lined up kind of where I want it, and I have the drill bit in there. Make sure the drill bit is... It's in there straight because the small ones are kind of hard to get in there, right? And then, uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna center punch it first. I've never done this before, guys, but um, there's actually a jig that you can use to do this with. But and try to make sure this is kind of straight. Okay, and I'm gonna center punch where the mark is. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys, but. Okay, should have a little dimple on it now. Okay, and then uh, and then yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drill it. Uh, I guess one thing I can do is make sure it's like I level. Like I said, first. I don't have a jig, so okay, so it's not level. It's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get that bubble level. Okay, close enough. <laughs> yeah, so I just put it I put it deeper in there, and so. Okay, and I just kind of want to get thing here. And you probably want to move the base up as high as you can get it. So it drills it all the way through. Okay, I'm going to tighten the, the deck. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and drill it. Okay, sorry, it's way up there, but that's just, uh, I can't get the camera tripod high enough, so. <laughs> I just wanna make sure this is lined up. Okay, I think these drill, these bolts are not very hard, so I hope they aren't. <laughs> I'm gonna break my drill bits. All right, here we go. <laughs> Put a lot of pressure, then back off. The bolt is done. Okay, it's all the way through. Now we're gonna go ahead and keep on drilling. Okay, I felt it punched all the way through. Take it out. Oh, see, yeah, it's not straight. <laughs> well, so one side's a little lower than the other. All right, guys. So I gotta try to make sure it's more center next time. But that should work. That should be fine. As long as there's a hole on each side, doesn't matter. It'll just be a little crooked when you stick it in there. All right, so there's one. Okay, guys, so there it is. So you can see one is kind of high and then one is kind of low. So I didn't have it in there like totally straight, but that's okay. As long as there's a hole on each side, that's fine. All right, but I will try to do better on another one. <laughs> okay, I've got my camera on a uh, stool to get it higher. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, I'm going to try something else this time. This time I'm going to let it sit. I'm just going to let it sit on there so the pressure will help level the the bolt out all right because yeah it's a weird size you know that's why they have fixtures for this but i don't have one uh, that's something i probably want to invest in in the future so this could be potentially dangerous if it catches 
I just want to like make sure I let go, okay? So I'm gonna try this. I've already punched it. I've made a dimple with it already, okay? And I want to kind of practice, do a couple practice. So I want to kind of try to keep it in the center of the vise because that's where like the the jaws are strongest. Okay, and then by doing this, it helps center the uh, the bolt better. Okay. Oh, All right, here we go. Oh, this is not tight. Oh, it is tight. Okay. I'm going to try to hold it level as good as I can. Applying pressure with the drill bit is actually uh, helping the the bolt line align itself properly. I think. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's even worse. Yeah, it's even worse this time. <laughs> All right, this one is way too high okay yeah so this one wound up being way too high but there's still a little bit of there's still thing on there so that's okay man i don't know why i couldn't get it in there straight all right anyway hades mega tried his best man the first hole looks really good the second hole does not look good at all it's just way up there all right it's almost went all the way oh the top of it was almost all gone so that's not very good but i tried my best guys <laughs> um i might want to try to drill another hole somewhere but that's okay practice makes perfect right <laughs> okay okay so i feel that uh the first one that i did worked the best all right so yeah just stick stick it in the vise crank that vise down and then try to get it level with a level and it got i got pretty close all right um one thing you can do is just make a mark on both sides uh, it doesn't really matter where the holes are, honestly. As long as you can get the hole through one side and out the other end, it, you know, it'll work. It doesn't have to be perfectly on the other side, all right, is what I'm saying. And I guess the reason why, I don't know. Yeah, it, it depends. Ah, I see. I see what's wrong. So inside here, there's a, it's the Allen head bolt, all right. If, if uh, you're not drilling right at the center where the flat part of the, the hex head is it's gonna walk all right when it gets to the other side i didn't i didn't realize that all right and so that's why it's off all right so yeah so if possible and just drill yeah yeah yeah. i would um the best thing to do would be to uh to drill it where the flat part of the bolt is okay so the best thing to do would be to drill it where the flat part of the bolt is all right i don't, I don't, I don't realize that so not not where like it's angled right so this one i probably want to drill like right here the hole's right here but we want to move like right here where the flat spot is so that way when you when you punch through this one it'll it'll hit a flat surface on the other side all right that's that's the reason why it's walking all right i, I didn't really hey, well, you, i'm learning with you guys too all right so so that's those are the things I've learned. Uh, what Hayes Mega might want to do is try to drill another hole in it. I guess. Yeah, you you can try if if you mess up on the first hole, you you try try to drill more. All right, I, I'm gonna try one more time um, for this one. All right, this one I kind of messed up on, so I'm gonna drill one that's kind of close to it. We'll figure something out. <laughs> All right okay so there it is all right so so there's the one that i messed up all right and then we've got two more there's one there there's one there and one there so what i've learned all right is instead of trying to drill it all the way through just drill one and then turn the bolt and then turn and then drill the other side all right because uh it just it just won't do it man <laughs> it just refuses to go all the way through and i broke a drill bit too so there you go. Well, I'm going to try. We'll try that out. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to go put these guys back in. Um, first, we got to make sure we got the right ones. <laughs> Which one is the up and the down one? I'm not sure, man. I forgot already. See? So 
So, um, put your spacers back in. Put your caliper back on. I'm guessing this one might be the top one. Oh, it won't go in anymore. <laughs> There's too much, uh, it's too much stuff in there. There you go. So the it, it was there was like burrs in there keeping it from going in, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna gun it in real quick. These are the right ones, and I believe they are. Okay, so remember I marked it where the top one and the bottom one is. It, it doesn't really matter, guys. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and torque it to 24 foot pounds. Okay, 24 foot pounds. Okay. One. Okay, there's two. But notice the white marks lined up, and these this is the top mark and the bottom mark. All right. So now I'll know one of these has four holes, and the, uh, one of them has two hole, uh, only two holes. All right. I think. I think the uh, this one. All right. The bottom one has four holes. So, so I, now I have something to to go off of, like. To, so I remember which way. I'm gonna double check the torque again. Okay, one more time. Okay, now is the fun part. Go ahead and get your safety wire out. Okay, so pull out and uh, more than you need, guys. So, so it's gonna go this I guess and it's gonna go this way so well way more than you think you'll need like double all right like that much all right then go ahead and cut it I know I have to use I, my uh, my pliers are not very good guys Okay, and then go ahead and so you want it to be you want it to be shaped like an S is what you want it to do All right, so um, We're gonna go like this Okay, and this is gonna go around this side all right, and then you're gonna want to tighten it I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Hades Omega is a noob at uh, doing this. All right, I'm I'm learning, just as you guys are. Okay, okay. And you're gonna want to tighten that. Yeah, yeah, okay, All right, I got it right. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna take this out, and I've already kind of messed up because I wound it up too much. So um, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you're twisting like right here, where you're, where you're gonna stuff the other wire in, all right? So I did it too much, so I'm gonna, I'm just, all I'm gonna do is undo it, all right? It's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, but. Okay, just undo it to where you think. Um, not too much. Right here. Okay. Now we're gonna stick it through the hole off the other end.
Yeah, the second hole I drilled is actually better. This one goes into the caliper. I, I don't know, man. It's fine, Hades Mega. Don't don't over overthink it. Okay, and then you're just going to want to tighten it just like that. Okay, and then yeah, make sure it's coming up. So you want it to... You want it to be like an S shape, so it's going, so you see how it's wrapping around here, and then it's going to wrap around here. All right? oh, wait, wait a minute, maybe I got it wrong. Let me see. If this loosens, it will tighten that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to do it with my hand now. I'm just going to tighten it more at the base here. Okay. Should be good and tight. So, so you see how this works, guys? If I was to loosen this, right? If I was to loosen this, it would tighten this one, all right? So it's not going to budge, all right? If I loosen this one, all right, if this one goes this way, it's going to pull this one tight. All right, so so that's the way it works. When you loosen one, it tightens the other. All right, so now if you have it the opposite and you lo you're loosening it, it's going to loosen the other one at the same time. So, so yeah, just remember you want it shaped like an S. All right, you want it to go around this way and then this way. All right, and now we just cut it. Let's uh, cut it right there. Okay, and then you want to fold this, and I think they, there was somebody was, I think you want to put it like in here, somewhere where it won't like poke you or anything, or get caught on anything, like that, okay. Something like that, alright guys. <laughs> alright, did you get that? Alright, so yeah. Just make sure you tighten it like an as a, as an S, all right, and this way, all right. I I, I don't know. let me know. You know those guys, those of you guys that are expert experts at doing this, did Hades Omega do it right? <laughs> Type of thing. Like maybe I just want this to be down here or something. I don't know. And then you're gonna have to redo it every time, guys. Which kind of sucks, but. It's not like you take it off all the time, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so shape like an S, right? When this one loosens, it'll tighten this one. It's gonna pull it. It's gonna pull it right here, that way. Okay, and then when you loosen this one, it's gonna pull this side, and it's gonna tighten this. So if you're tightening it, it's not gonna move. All right, guys, that's the way it works. Okay, there you go. So I, I just uh, I just learned, and you guys learned how to safety wire the uh, the front uh, front caliper bolts on the Alta Redshift SM. All right, hopefully they work. Um, I will have somebody look at it. But <laughs> okay, so here's what I've learned. Uh, when drilling it, all right, you want to make sure that the uh, that you just drill each side. All right, for these Allen head bolts. Don't don't try to drill it all the way through, okay, guys. Um, and if you do, you would want to try to get it on the center part, okay. But what I would do is just drill a hole on each side, and then look at the other side, and then just figure out where the other end is, and then just drill the other side, all right. Um, like this one turned out pretty good. Um, yeah. So so drill one side, 
and then go to the other side and then drill the other side, all right? Instead of trying to drill all the way through. Okay, that's that's my suggestion, all right? That um, that's that seems to work the best for me, all right? And if you mess up, just drill another hole, like, and try to drill on the flat part of the Allen head, the hex part, okay? And the holes could be like anywhere, all right? And alternatively, yes, you can buy an aftermarket bolt, you know, but his Omega is cheap like that, so. <laughs> All right, there it is. Okay, caliper is on there, and it's safety wired. It's not come. It's not going anywhere. It's been torqued, and it's been uh, safety wired. It's not going anywhere. All right. I hope you guys. Uh, I hope this was an educational and uh, entertaining video. Thanks for watching. Hey, Zmig out.